Okay, so in this video, we're going to find the partial fraction decomposition of this rational function. So this one's a little bit harder. Uh, let's first set it up. So you start by writing this uh, as equal to, well, this is the linear factor. So it's a over x plus 1. Whenever it's linear, it's just a constant, like a, b, or c, or d. If it's a quadratic, then you have to have that, that other term, the ax plus b term. So, But these are linear, so it's just a, b, c. Here we have x plus 2, so it's b over x plus 2, but it appears twice, so we have to write it twice, so plus c over x plus 2 squared. If there was a 3 here, we would have to do it one more time, it would be plus d over x plus 2 cubed. All right, good stuff. Now what we're going to do, uh, you have to use your imagination here because the board is kind of small, is we're going to multiply everything by this piece. So I'm going to take this whole thing and put it here and put it here. So if you take this and multiply it by this piece here, we're left with 2x. And now we're taking this bad boy, and we're multiplying this by each of these guys. So when this gets multiplied by this, we're left with a. And let's see, well, one of the x plus 1's cancels. So, well, the only one cancels. So we're left with x plus 2 quantity squared. Then plus b. And we're taking this entire thing, and it's being multiplied by this, by this whole thing here. So the x plus 2 cancels, so we're left with x plus 1, x plus 2. So x plus 1 x plus 2. And last and not least, uh, we're taking this and multiplying it by this. So both copies of x plus 2 cancel, so we're left with c times x plus 1. So plus c times x plus 1. So um, the first step is you write it out, set it up, then you just take this and multiply this by all of these guys. So again, this times this, the x plus 1 cancels, we're left with x plus 2 squared, boom, there it is. This times this, we have x plus 2 here, so we lose one copy of x plus 2, so we're left with x plus 1, x plus 2, x plus 1, x plus 2. The last piece, c over x plus 2 squared. So both copies of x plus 2 cancel, we're left with simply c and x plus 1. When you get to this point, you have to ask yourself, what can you plug in to make things go away, right? So uh, well, obviously two numbers, right? Negative 1 will make this go away and this go away, and we'll be able to find a. And negative 2 will make this go away and this go away, and we'll be able to find c. So again, let's take a little slower. Let's just plug into things that make it go away. So let's do negative 2 first. So if you set x equal to negative 2, right, if you set x equal to negative 2, well, what's going to happen here is that uh, you're going to get 2 times negative 2, so you're going to get negative 4. This is 0, right, because 0 times a is 0, so this is 0, it's gone. This is 0, right, because 0 times anything is 0. And here we get negative 2 plus 1, so we get c, and then negative 2 plus 1 is negative 1. So we get negative 4 is equal to negative c. So that means that c is equal to 4. Okay, I'm going to erase in a minute to finish the problem, but again, we plug in negative 2. 2 times negative 2 is negative 4. 0, 0, negative 2 plus 1 is negative 1. So you end up with negative c equals negative 4 divided by negative 1, so c is equal to 4. So I'm going to write it down up here, so c is equal to 4. That's one of our numbers. To find... Um, Another letter, we're going to do the same thing now. So I'm going to erase this with my hand, which is terrible. And now we'll say, okay, what can we plug in uh, to make things go away? Well, we already used negative 2, now it's just negative 1. So when x is negative 1, we get 2 times negative 1, which is negative 2. Right? 2 times negative 1 is negative 2. Here we get negative 1 plus 2, that's 1. 1 squared is 1. So we get a times 1, right? Because negative 1 plus 2 is 1, 1 squared is 1, so we just get 1. 0, 0, right? Because 0, 0, then your 1 plus 1 is 0, so we get 0 plus 0. So a is simply negative 2. Okay, so a is negative 2. So I'm going to write that up here. a is negative 2. All right, so again, we plug in negative 1. So 2 times negative 1 is negative 2. Plug in negative 1 here, negative 1 plus 2 is 1. 1 squared is 1, 0, 0. So all right, I'm going to erase again. We have c, we have a. So we've exhausted all possibilities. We've plugged in. Everything we can to make things go away. We plugged in negative 2, and that gave us C. We plugged in negative 1, that gave us A. Uh, so there's nothing else we can plug in to make things go away. So now we just pick any number we like. Uh, we want to find B, so let's plug in 0. Why 0? Because 0 is nice. Look, if I plug in 0, I get 0 here. So we get A. A is negative 2. Then we get 0 plus 2 squared, so we get 2 squared. All right, so A is negative 2. 0 plus 2 is 2, so 2 squared. Plugging in 0 for x, right? And then here we're looking for b. So 
B, plugging in zero. So one times two is two. And then C, what's C? C is four, right? C is four, and we're plugging in zero, so we get one. So let's go over that again, because that was a little confusing. So when X is zero, we get zero, right? A is negative two, we said that from before, so we get zero plus two is two, two squared. B is B, and then we have zero, zero, so we get one times two is two. C is four, zero plus one is one. All right, what do we have here? We have zero equals, that's a four. Negative two times four is negative eight, whew, plus two B, or not to B, <laughs> plus four. So we end up with negative eight plus four, which is negative four, oh, too much math. Let's see, so this is zero equals, negative eight plus four is negative four, plus, we got room, two B. Whoo, baby math. Add the four, four equals two B, so B is equal to two, beautiful stuff. Okay, so again, we plugged in things to make it go away, we found these guys, we plugged in zero, we found B, now we have A, B, and C to finish, we plug everything back in. So erasing all of this, the final answer, let's see, A is negative two, so negative two over X plus one. B was two, so two over X plus two. Right, B is two, so two over X plus two. And then C was four, so four over X plus two squared. So that was a, an easy, Medium difficulty uh, problem. Hope that made sense.